There are two iconic home runs in Chicago Cubs lore. David Ross homering off Andrew Miller in Game 7 of the 2016 World Series. He put the Cubs up by three runs. And then the other iconic home run was by another catcher, Gabby Hartnett, late in the 1938 series season against the Pittsburgh Pirates. As late as August 20th, 1938, the Pittsburgh Pirates had a nine-game lead over the Chicago Cubs. There was a lot of confidence in Pittsburgh about the 1938 World Series, so much so that they began expanding the press box at Forbes Field to accept the uh, increased number of World Series reporters. But there was a late September series in 1938, September 27th through 29th, the Pirates had to go to Wrigley Field to play the Cubs, and the Cubs were storming back. In the first game of the series, Dizzy Dean eked out a 2-1 to one victory, and by the time of the second game of the series, the Cubs had actually pulled to within a half game of the Pirates. Games in those days at Wrigley started at 3 o'clock, and sunset was set for 5.37 in the afternoon. By the end of the top of the ninth inning, the score was tied 5-5, five to five, and the clock said 5.30. Umpires gathered and discussed whether they could try another half, half inning. They did agree, and quickly Mace Brown of the Pirates retired the first two Cub batters. That brought up Gabby Hartnett, who quickly took two strikes. But then on the third pitch, hit a long drive that hardly anyone could see, but it cleared the fence in left field, giving the Cubs a one-half game lead over the Pittsburgh Pirates and a 6-5 to five win. The following day, the Cubs blew out the Pirates 10-1, to one, and they were on their way to the 1938 pennant. Today's game is iconic moment number 12 in the series, the Pittsburgh Pirates go to Wrigley Field to take on the Chicago Cubs. This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Hello everybody, this is Appa Brian bringing to you Appa Baseball Classics and game number 12, the Iconic Mo Moments Project. It's the 1938 season, the pennant is on the line, the Cubs are down by half a game to the Pittsburgh Pirates, we've had the introductions. Bob Klinger is on the mound for Pittsburgh and on the mound for Chicago is Clay Bryant. He's completing his warm-up tosses, grade B pitcher, with no modifiers. Here's the first pitch of the game to Little Poison Lloyd Wainer. 4-4 roll is a base hit, a bouncing ball through the hole and into right field. Lloyd Wainer is a fast runner. We're using basic APA, and uh, everything's the same except for I give the catchers a chance to throw out the base runners when they... Try to pill for second base. The Pirates have a base runner at first. That brings up Lloyd Wainer's brother, Paul Wainer, Big Poison. One four is a 30. That's a fly ball to left field. Caught by Aldemari. One away. 
Okay, I think rather than the pegs, we'll use these purple discs for base runners. Johnny Rizzo comes up for the Pirates with one down, one on. Here's the pitch to Rizzo, 21. Towering fly ball to left field, an easy play for Damari. Two outs. That brings up shortstop Arky Vaughn, 322 hitter in 1938. Clay Bryant goes into the stretch, and the pitch, 5-5, five, five, is an 8. Topper hit to the mound, fielded by Bryant, the throw to first. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the first. Pirates don't score. Cubs coming to bat. Bob Cleaner is on the mound for the Pirates. He's a rookie pitcher, he, but he had a fantastic year. 12 and 5, 2.99 earned run average. And Stan Hack leads off for Chicago. 4 5 is a base on balls. Hack slings away at the bat and goes the first. Like the Pirates, the Cubs have their leadoff batter on. Here's Billy Herman, Hall of Fame second baseman. 2 3. Ground ball back to the pitcher, Klinger, who whirls towards second, throws a second to retire Hack. Fielder's choice for Billy Herman. One away, and Al Damari, or I said, I said Al earlier, I had that wrong, Frank Damari. 273 hitter for the Cubs. 1-6 is a 28. Slowly hit ball to shortstop. The only play is to first. Herman goes to second. Two outs. Long time Cub Phil Cavaretta. Uh, not from this point. He, uh, but moving forward, he, he played a lot of years for Chicago, and eventually managed the Cubs. A uh, current manager for Chicago is their catcher Gabby Hartman. Here's a pitch to Cavaretta. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column roll for Phil Cavaretta. That'll probably get the run home. 34 is a double, and that scores Billy Herman from second base. Cubs lead 1-0. to nothing. Carl Reynolds, 302 hitter in 1938. 2-2 roll is a Blooper to center field. It's going to fall in in front of Lloyd Weiner. A base hit. Scoring Cavaretta from second. That's the second Cub run. Cubs two. Pirates nothing in the first. There's catcher and player manager Gabby Hartnett. And I just lost one of the dice. Let's play 1 1. That's a sixth. That's a double. For Hartnett, and the base runner should be on first, but now he's going to score on Hartnett's double. Three to nothing, Cubs. Here's the first baseman, Ripper Carl Collins, one of the uh, former Gas House game members that are on this Cubs team. Dizzy Dean's another one. All right, here's the roll to. Ripper Collins. 41 is a ground ball to the shortstop. That'll end the inning. Throw to first by Arky Vaughn. Three outs, but the Cubs post three on the scoreboard and they lead three to nothing. All right, Gus Sir will lead off the top of the second for the Pirates. He played 11 years in the major leagues. Uh, most of those with the Pirates and the last two years with the Phillies. Before he came to the major leagues, though, he hit. 381 with 51 home runs for the 1929 San Francisco Seal in the Pacific, Pacific Coast League. Here's a pitch to Gus Sir. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column roll for Sir. 1-6 is a leadoff double for the Pirate first baseman. That brings up Pep Young, the Pirates' second baseman. He had 36 doubles on 278 average in 1938. Clay Bryant goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch to Young, 51. Is a smash back to the mound. A great grab by Clay Bryant, but he'll have to go toward first for the out. One to three, sir. Goes to third. 
and the Pirates have a runner 90 feet away for Jeep Hanley to the third baseman. One down, the Cubs will play the infield back. Here's the pitch to Hanley. 6-6 six, six roll, that's a hit column roll for Hanley. And 6-6 six, six is a drive. It might be, it could be, it is out of here, a two-run home run. The Pirates come back with two in the top of the second. They answer the Cubs three in the first. It is three to two Chicago. Catcher Al Todd. Six six roll for Todd. That's a hit column roll. Two four is a double for Todd, and both clubs have bought the lumber today. That's two doubles on a homer in this inning. They've got four hits already. Pitcher Bob Klinger. Here's the pitch to Klinger. 2-4 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two out. Top of the order. And Lloyd Weiner. 313 hitter in 1938. This is going to be a tough out. Here's the pitch. 1-6. 28. Ground ball to Billy Jurgis at shortstop. He corrals it and throws the first. Three outs, but the Pirates score twice. Go to the bottom of the second. Cubs three, Pittsburgh two. Billy Jurgis stands in against Bob Klinger. Here's the pitch. 43, 12. One hopper to third, spared by Jeep Hanley. He throws the first. Jurgis is out. Pittsburgh is a feeling column two on defense and Chicago. Feeling only call him one. Here is the pitcher, Clay Bryant. 53 is a 21. That will be a two hopper to the first baseman. Flips to the pitcher, Klinger, sir, flips to Klinger. Uh, tough catch by Klinger over at first base, but they, he keeps his foot on the base. And there are two outs. Stan Heck. 1-3 is a base on balls. Heck has walked twice in the game. Two outs. Cubbies have a runner on first. For Billy Herman. 277 in 1938. 64 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Three outs for Chicago. We go to the bottom, top of the third. Chicago three and Pittsburgh two. Big boys and Paul Weiner leads off for Pittsburgh in the third. 61 is a ground ball to Billy Jurgis at shortstop. The third of first. One down. Here is Johnny Rizzo, the left fielder. 1-4 is a fly ball to left field. Spike Damari is under it. Makes the catch. Rizzo has flied to left twice now. Here's Archie Vaughn. 52-27. Bouncer toward third base. Stan Heck has it. Throws across the diamond. It's three up and three down for the Pirates in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Chicago three, Pittsburgh two. Frank Damari leads off. 64 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Second strikeout for Bob Klinger. Here is Phil Cavaretta, who doubled and scored his first time out. 62 is a roller back to Klinger. He's got it and throws to Gus Sir at first. Two outs. Here's Carl Reynolds. Out of LaRue, Texas. 2-1. Fly ball to left. Johnny Rizzo is under it. He puts it away. That's it for the Cubs in the bottom of the third. We go to the top of the fourth. Cubs are up by a run. Clay Bryant returns to the mound for the Cubs. He's experienced a very hot September. He won 19 games in 38. But he won six of those in September to really fuel the Cubs' winning streak. He and Billy were the top two pitchers on the staff. Guster steps into the box for Pittsburgh. 56 is a swing and a miss, strike three. 
Serves one for two. He doubled his first time up. That brings up Pep Young. 43 is a ground ball to third base. Stan Hack throws two outs. And here's from Clarion, Iowa, Jeep Handling. 26 is a 26. Hard hit near the hole. Grabbed by Stan Heck. Throws three outs. And Clay Bryant has retired the last seven Pirates in order. Near the bottom of the fourth, Cubs are still leading by one. Gabby Hartnett leads off the bottom of the fourth. He doubled in a run in the first inning. 2-5 is a 8 against a C pitcher. And that's a chopper past the pitcher and into center fielder for a single. Uh, Hartnett is 2 for 2. Slow runner at first. We'll play it safe with all the slow runners unless I say otherwise. Ripper Collins steps into the box. Switch hitter swinging. The bat now from the left side. 1 6 is a 28. Slow roller to the shortstop. Archie Vaughn only plays to first. 6 to 3. Hartnett goes to second. One down, but the Cubs are threatening to score here in the fourth. Billy Jurgis. Jurgis is the eighth place hitter. Clay Bryant is net due up next, the pitcher. Jurgis. Uh, about 245 hitter. Bryant's about 226. I think he will go ahead and pitch to Jurgis. Here's the pitch. 1-5 is an 8 against a C. Single to left field. We're playing it safe with the slow heart, and he goes to third. Runners on the corners for the pitcher, Clay Bryant. Infield is going to play at double play depth. And Klinger is going to pitch to Bryant. Bryant is not going to bunt. He's going to try to hit, at least get a fly ball. Here's the pitch to Bryant. 42 is not a fly ball. It's going to be ground ball back to the pitcher, Bob Klinger. He freezes Hartnett at third, throws the first. Bryant is retired with Gerges going to second. Two outs, second and third. Top of the order and Stan Hack. He'll pitch the hat. Infield back with two outs. Here's the pitch. 56 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Some clutch pitching by Bob Klinger to get out of the jam with no damage. We go to the top of the fifth. Cubs three and the Pirates two. Moving to the top of the fifth, it'll be Pirates catcher Al Todd to lead off for Pittsburgh, followed by the pitcher at the top of the order. Here's a pitch from Bryant to Al Todd. 34 is a fly ball. To center field, Carl Reynolds is under it and makes the catch one away. Here is Bob Klinger. 51 is a 36. I think that's good. A pitch that brushes back Bob Klinger. Four ball one. Five three. 13 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Three strikeouts for Clay Bryant. Top of the order and Little Poison, Lloyd Wayner. One for two in the game. 45 is a base on balls. Two outs and a fast runner at first. Here's Paul Wayner. 62, fly ball to the left. Me, that's going to be three outs. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Cubs three, Pirates two. All right, second spot in the order. Uh, Billy Herman leads off for Chicago. 1-6 is a ground ball to the shortstop. Archie Vaughn, one down. Here is Frank Damari. Frank Damari brings speed and power to the plate. He was one of four Pacific Coast Leaguers to hit over 30 home runs and steal 30 bases. Here's the pitch to Damari. 6-5 popped up behind home plate. Caught by Al Todd. Two outs. Phil Cavaretta. 
45 is a walk. Brings up Carl Reynolds with a runner on two outs. Three go two hitter. Not a lot of home runs. He just hit three homers and 38. 44. I'll take that. Uh, 44 is a seven. Ground ball base hit the other way to right field. Let's see, Calvaretta goes to third. We get a throw to third to try to get him from Paul Wainer. He is safe. And on the throw, Reynolds goes to second. Second and third, two outs. Cubs looking for some breathing room. Gabby Hartnett can provide it. There's a pitch to Gabby Hartnett. 56 is a 34. Popped up near the mound. And the shortstop, Arky Young, calls for it and makes the catch. That's the end of the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth. A lot of clutch pitching from Bob Klinger. Still 32 Cubs. For this sixth inning, the Pirates star left fielder, Johnny Rizzo, will lead off. He led the way for Pittsburgh offensively in 1938. 301 hitter, 23 homers with 111 RBIs. Here's the pitch to Johnny Rizzo, and there's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here, a game-tying home run. Here on the top of the six, Pirates three, Cubs three. That brings up Archie Vaughn. 1-5 is a 10. A little fair flare to right field, sinking fast in front of Phil Cavaretta for a base hit. Archie Vaughn reaches. That's his first hit of the game. One for three. Here's the first baseman, Gus Sir. Clay Bryant goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch to the first sacker, Gus Sir, 63. Fly ball to center field. It's going to stay in the park and be caught by Carl Reynolds. One down. Pep Young. 6-5. Pop up near home plate between the pitcher and catcher. Gabby Hartnett throws away the mask, calls for it, and makes the catch. Two outs. Here is Jeep Hanley, the Pirates' third baseman. 1 5 is an 8. Tap back to the mound. Clay Bryant snags it, throws the first. Three outs. But the Pirates, on the home run by Johnny Risso, tie the score 3 to 3. It's the bottom of the Cubs' order in the bottom of the sixth inning. Rick Collins. Billy Jurgis and Clay Bryant. 3 1 to Collins. Mile high pop up to the left side. Third baseman Jeep Hanley calls for it and makes the catch. Here's Billy Jurgis. Five six. Another pop up. And that's to the shortstop. Two outs. Pitcher Clay Bryant. Fifty-four is a fly ball to right field. Paul Wainer sizes it up and picks it out of the sky. Three outs. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Pittsburgh three and Chicago three. This is a fatigue inning for both starting pitchers. If Three bad things happen to either pitcher. Their grade level go, will go down one letter grade. Out of the catcher steps in the box for the Pirates in the top of the seventh inning. 4-2 is a 38 pitch that just misses the target for ball one. 32 is a 26. Hard hit the second. Billy Herman, a slick feeling second Baseman has it, throws the first, one down. Herman has an APA rating of nine at second base, as well as Jurgis, the shortstop, has an APA rating of nine at shortstop. So the Cubs are very strong defensively in the middle of the infield. Here is the pitcher, Bob Klinger, 
one six is a twenty eight. Ground ball to your shortstop. Fine play by made by Jurgis to throw to first. Two outs. Here's Lloyd Weiner. Weiner has been on base twice, singled and walked. 56 is popped up to shortstop. And that's caught by Billy Jurgis. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the seventh. 3-3 three, three tie. It's the top of the Cubbies order in the bottom of the seventh. Stan Hack, Billy Herman, and Frank Damari. There's a pitch to Stan Hack, 1-6-28. A ground ball, high bouncer to the shortstop. Arky Vaughn throws the first, retiring Stan Hack. Hack is 0 for 2, but has been on base twice with walks. Billy Herman steps into the box. Herman is 0 for 3. 3 6 is a 33. Popped up high on the infield near the mound. Second baseman Pep Young calls for it and makes the catch. Two outs. Frank Damari. 6 5 is a pop up to the catcher for the third out. Go to the top of the eighth inning. Score is tied 3 to 3. A tie ball game in the eighth inning. The stage is nearly set for this iconic moment. We're not trying to catch lightning in the bottle, but Gabby Hartnett is due to bat third in the eighth inning of a tie ball game. He, he hit uh, third in the ninth of the actual game. For this inning, Paul, Paul Weiner, Johnny Rizzo, and Archie Vaughn will try to get the Pirates a leg up on the Cubs. Clay Bryant is still on the mound. He has no marks against his fatigue. Here's the pitch to Paul Weiner. 6-5 is a pop-up to the catcher. Gabby Hartnett takes it one way. Here's Johnny Rizzo, who homered to tie the game in the sixth inning. 52 is a 27 Ground ball hard hit the third. Grabbed by Stan Heck to throw to first. Two outs. Arky Vaughn. Hall of Famer out of Clifty, Arkansas. 42 is a base on balls. Arkansas has produced some Hall of Fame infielders that, you know, Brooks Robinson, third base, George Kell, third base, his mentor. And now Archie Vaughn, shortstop, is from Arkansas. Here is Gus Sir. And of course, Vaughn's a Hall of Famer as well. 51 is a nine. A chopper off the plate. Hartnett fields it. It's going to be close. Though he is safe at first. Pirates have two on with two outs. And that's two marks against Clay Bryant. Bill Lee is working in the bullpen for Chicago. Here's Pep Young. 51. Slowly hit the third base. Stan Heck picks it up barehanded, throws the first. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Pittsburgh three and Chicago three. First place is on the line here at Wrigley Field today, a capacity crowd. Bob Klinger has pitched through the eighth inning. He's going to find a job for the Pirates. He's going to have to get past Phil Cavaretta, Carl Reynolds, and Gabby Hartnett in the eighth. Here's the pitch. 1-4. Fly ball hit to left field. Johnny Rizzo moves to his right and makes the catch. One down. Bob Cleaner has allowed the Cubs only six hits. Three of those hits came in the first inning back to back to back. That provided two of the Chicago, actually three of the Chicago runs. But he's kept them off the board since. Here is Carl Reynolds. 6-4, swing and a miss. 
strike three. And now player manager Gabby Hartnett, two for three on the day, singled, doubled. Here's the pitch to Gabby Hartnett. 51 is a mile-high pop-up just wide of third base. G. Panley calls for it and makes the catch. Three outs, and Bob Klinger has retired the last 10 Cubs in order. We go to the top of the ninth. Pittsburgh 3 and Chicago 3. Both teams will face the top of the ninth with the bottom of the order. Uh, Hanley, Todd, and Klinger. And then for the Cubs will be Collins, Jurgis, and Bryant. So the, the, the last part of their batting order, we'll have to get it done here if we don't go to extra innings. Here's a pitch to G. Hanley from Clay Bryant. 42 is a 27. Ground ball to third. Taken by Stan Heck. The throw to first. One out. Here's Al Todd. 41 is a ground ball to shortstop. That's Billy Jurgis. He throws. Two outs. And Bob Klinger has no marks against his fatigue. With two, uh, two outs, he's going to go ahead and hit. 43 is a ground ball to third. Three up and three down for the Pirates. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We're all knotted up at three apiece. Ripper Collins, former St. Louis Cardinals guest house gang member, will lead off the 930 for the Chicago Cubs. Bob Klinger is still on the mound. He has retired 10 Cubs in a row. Here's a pitch to Rip Collins. 2-3 is a ground ball back to Klinger. That's the first out of the last of the ninth. Shortstop Billy Jurgis. Chopper up the middle, past the pitcher, base hit for Billy Jurgis. Cubs have the potential winning run on first. And they're going to send up a pitch hitter for the pitcher, Tony Lazari, former New York Yankee. Here's a pitch from Klinger to Lazari. 54, fly ball to right field. Paul Wainer is under it. He makes the catch. Two down. That brings up Stan Hack, the only barrier between us and extra innings. Stan Hack was a 325 hitter in 1930, 320 hitter in 1938 with 11 triples and 34 doubles. Here's the pitch to Stan Hack. 2 3 is a 29. Grounded to Klinger. He's got it, throws the first. We go to extra innings with first place on the line. Pirates 3. Cubs three. Charlie Root will be brought on to pitch for Chicago in the top of the 10th inning. Top of the order for the Pirates. Lloyd Wainer, Paul Wainer, and then Johnny Rizzo. 54 is a fly ball to right field. Phil Cavaretta takes measure. That's the glove and puts it away. One down. Here's Big Poison, Paul Wainer. 56 is a 34. Easy pop-up, taken by shortstop Billy Jurgis. By the way, Root is using his pitcher rating, C rating, uh, as this is an extra innings, and he may need to give the Cubs some time out there on the mound. Here's Johnny Rizzo, 26. Rizzo hits it hard to second, snagged by Herman, the throw to first. Three outs. The bottom of the 10th inning, Cubs three, Pirates three. Bob Klinger back out to pitch the 10th inning. He's got one mark against his fatigue. Billy Herman steps in the box for Chicago. 36 is a 33. Infield pop-up to second base. Caught by Pep Young. One down. Frank Damari. 0 for 4 in today's game. Here's the pitch to Damari looking for his first hit. 61 ground ball to the shortstop, Arky Vaughn. Throw to first, two outs. And now Phil Cavaretta. Cavaretta is one for three, doubled and also has walked. 6 1 is a flat to right. Paul Weiner is under it, makes the catch. 
Cubs are retired in order. We go to the top of the 11th, 3-3 three, three tie. Archie Vaughn will lead off the top of the 11th for Pittsburgh, nine-time All-Star for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He hit 364, something like that, in the All-Star game competition. I, I think an underrated Hall of Fame shortstop. Here's the pitch to Archie Vaughn. 2-6 is a 29, rounded back to the new pitcher for the Cubs, Charlie Root. Or no, this is Root's uh, second inning of work. At any rate, Arky Vaughn's out, 1-3. to three. Got to serve the first baseman. 42, base on balls. Pirates have the potential go-ahead run on first. Average speed. Here is second baseman Pep Young. High fly ball, skied to right field and caught by Phil Cavaretta. Two outs. Here is Jeep Hanley. 54 is a fly ball to right field. That's three outs. Go to the bottom of the 11th inning. 3-3 three, three tie. All right, as we go to the bottom of the 11th inning here at Wrigley Field, darkness is descending over the proceedings. It's 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Sun sets at 5.37. The umpires say let's play on at least one more inning. What happens if the Cubs don't score in the bottom of the 11th inning, this game will end as a suspended game. There was nothing in Major League Baseball's rules for suspended games due to darkness in 1938, meaning that the game would have to be replayed in its entirety on the next day if the Cubs don't score here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Due up for the Cubs, Carl Reynolds, Gabby Hartnett, and Ripper Collins. This is going to be it. Here is a pitch from Klinger to Carl Reynolds, 41. Ground ball to shortstop. Archie Vaughn's got it. Throws the first. One down. Here's Gabby Hartnett, native of Woonsocket, Rhode Island. The Cubs player manager. Here's the pitch. 6-2. I first saw that 6, and I thought <laughs> this could be it. But the 2 which fell off the card, makes it a pitch that's high for ball one. We did it again. Here's a pitch to Gabby Hartnett, 2-6. Fly ball, deep to left field. It might be, it could be, it is caught at the wall by Johnny Rizzo. Two outs, one more to go, and we'll do this game all over again tomorrow. Ripper Collins. Here's the pitch. 4 6, fly ball to right field. That is caught by Paul Weiner. Umpires call the game due to darkness. We'll set this up and play the replay, the second game of this all important series between the Pirates and Cubs tomorrow. It officially ends as a suspended game. 3 3 tie. We'll be back with a wrap up. All right, the Pittsburgh Pirates came into this game with a half-game lead over the Chicago Cubs in this game today. Didn't settle anything. We used actual lineups. We'll use the actual lineups for the game following this game the next day and try to get a settlement for the 1938 season. The Cubs have one more series to play after the Pirates series. That was a three-game series with the Cardinals. And um, they were... They went in that series a game and a half up over Pittsburgh in real life. But tomorrow will determine what happens uh, as they go into that series in the replay. All right, the Pirates scored three runs on seven hits and no errors, and that's exactly what the Cubs did. Three runs on seven hits and no errors. No winner, no loser. But there is a star of the game today, and that's Bob Klinger, he gave up three runs to the Cubs in the first inning, but shut them down the rest of the way through 11 innings. Bob Klinger is the Pirates star of the game. We'll set this all up again tomorrow and see if we can get a resolution to your iconic moment number 12. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and may God bless.